right, guys, today we have a 94 Ranger 2.3 liter engine and we're having uh, charging system problems. So uh, I thought this would be a good chance to film some stuff, see what we come up. You know, looks like maybe it might be an alternator, but there are a few things we need to check before we just replace an alternator. So that's what we're going to try to do in this video, get these checks. Maybe in the next video we'll show the replacement of it. Looks like it's uh, three bolts. Uh, this vehicle has 291,000 miles. And, Woo and I can't believe that we're having these kind of problems with just a few miles on this vehicle. Right. Also, one of the things you want to look at is your battery connections on your battery. If you see a lot of corrosion on there, probably a good thing to go ahead and clean that up first, take care of that. If you got a lot of corrosion in there, that means you got high resistance. And that means that the battery cannot supply current, let's say, to the fuel coil to make the electromagnet so we can make so, so the alternator can make its voltage over there. So you need to make sure all the connections are good. In my case, you know, that wasn't my problem, but I did clean up the connections here, so we're all good on that. Another thing you might want to look at is look at your belt, see if the belt's on there, of course, and the, but if it wasn't, you'd probably have some other problems like cooling system problems. In my case, that looks fine too. So what we're going to have to do is we need to make a few voltage checks on the alternator, make sure all of the voltage is there in place that the alternator needs to do its work. Now, if that's all there and that looks good, then what we're going to do is we'll replace the alternator. But, to get to the alternator, it's halfway down on the side of the engine, so, and it's pretty, you know, inaccessible to get to just like it is, so, we're going to have to remove some stuff here. So, I'm thinking about moving some duct work, you know, here for the air intake. Uh, it's got another intake down here on the bottom, right up on the side of the alternator, so we're going to be removing that. So, that's what we're going to do. And then, once we get there, then we're going to start using this here, the wiring diagram, and then we're going to start making some voltage checks. And we'll go over that as, uh, once we get down there to it. Let's look at the battery first. We'll look at the open circuit voltage on here, state of charge of the battery. You know, as you know, a battery should be 12.66 volts, fully charged, ideally. Now, I've had a charge on it, and I've cranked it a couple of times, you know, but let's take a look at it, see what we got right now. We got 12.61 volts. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're looking good on that. All right, so now let's take a look. We're going to start it up. Now I have a bolt meter. I have a bolt meter inside in here, so it's reading low, and I also have a battery icon light, so it's coming on also. Take a look and see what we got now. Now, if we're having a charge here, it should run around probably about 13.2 volts, or maybe up to 14.5, depending on how much the battery, you know, needs to be uh, charged up. So we're looking at that, and we've got uh, oh, we got 12.3 volts there. Okay, so we know it's not getting anything from the alternator. Right, first thing, let's uh, disconnect this here math sensor connector. So we'll lift this thing up, slide him out. Okay. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and disconnect it over here. So I'm going to be working on this hose clamp. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now, in fact, let me take this one here loose here. Okay. All right, we're going to set that aside. All right, I'm going to disconnect this here. Connector, I believe it's a uh, IAT sensor. Okay. And I think I'm going to take these here, two bolts here out. They're at eight millimeter. One's right here. So let me work on that. Here's the other one over here. So I'm going to take that one out too. 
So I'm going to be working on these two bolts. To get the two bolts out, unhook it. Oh. I think I'm going to just send him over there. Here's our air filter. Yeah, don't look too bad. These two hose clamps, this one and this one over here, I've already loosened up. So I'm going to just take this here hose off of here. Get him out of the way. This bolt right here is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this and this one here out. It's also an 8 millimeter. Okay. Now, let's lift up on these heater coolant lines here. Oh, yeah. And maybe we can just kind of throw him right up there for now. We got a vacuum hose, I think, there. Now, we can get in here to this alternator pretty good. I'm going to disconnect this connector and make it a little bit easier to get to. Put it so we can check our voltages. Okay. Now what I'm going to do first is I got a test light hooked to uh, the generator uh, casing. I'm just ch checking the battery positive post back here. You can see we've got a good brightness on that. That looks good. Okay. Now let's go to this connector. And if I look at the diagram, now we just check we just checked that right here at that point. So we know that our fusible link is okay. Now we also have a hot B plus being coming down through here, through this here fuse 15 amp and it's going to a yellow with a white tracer and that should be hot all the time so there is that wire all the way on the outside so let's see if we can get that one and as you can see that one looks fine also okay now we have one other check we can make here now this one is with the switch in the on position now you can see it comes through, goes through the power distribution, goes through the charge indicator light that's in the cluster. And also notice we have a 500 ohm resistor, you know, across that. And, uh, you know, we could go into the details of how that works and how, how the uh, three phase current is generated, the paths that the nodes, you know, go. But, you know, for troubleshooting, it's not really necessary. But if you probably want to see some more about that, you know, just let me know. We can know. Uh, do something about it but anyway so we're going to have our 12 volts is going to come through down to this point right here all right so right here now when i put my test light on there when i got this unplugged of course it's going to load the circuit down so the test light should glow dim okay but so let's do that to start with so let me go and turn on the switch all right it's going through that charge indicator is this wire right here. It's a light green with a red tracer. Now we're going to check it. Now as I mentioned, it should glow dim. I don't know how dim. Okay, you can see it's glowing dim. Mm -hmm. The reason is that we're putting this here load in series with this here other light and also with this here parallel 500 ohm resistor. So it's going to be dropping voltage across the other parts up there as far as the charge indicator. And also we're going to have a voltage drop here. All right, guys. I, I believe we have got all the voltages that's being supplied to the alternator. And we can say that this alternator is bad. Now, there's other tests that we can do. You know, we can crank up the engine and we can do some, uh, you know, checks on the stator and the B plus and, you know, is the field open? Is there a problem with the brushes? But I look, who cares? It's internally an alternator. Something's wrong with it. So, no need to waste time. Going to get an alternator. Going to put it on here. Uh, so, that's about it, guys. Pretty cut and dry here. Just make sure that your voltages are there to your alternator. If you got them, then put another alternator on here. Uh, we'll save that for the next video for you guys who want to see some bolts turn. You know, it's only like three bolts on this thing. A couple of connectors, you know, pop them out. Take the belt off, throw it back together. So anyway, we appreciate you guys. Okay, uh, one quick thing, one quick thing. Okay, what is it? Happy birthday, Thank Terry. You.
Yeah, how old uh, am I today? Oh, 42, I'm oh, sure. I thought it was 41. Ah, oh, come on now. Okay, 42. Be realistic. I'll take 42. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, I appreciate you watching, and you guys take care, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.